Good morning. My name is Kaylin. My channel is called Plant Life in the South. And I'm going to be repotting my Monstera Adansonii today. As you can see. And I've got all my supplies that I need. Got a moss pole. It's pretty tall. I'm gonna put it in this terracotta pot. It's not as tall as I want, but I think it'll be okay. Right now I've got it on a stick, so I just tied it to the stick with string, which is kind of hilarious, but I didn't have a moss pole. I think it'll like the pole better because I can keep it moist. We'll see what it likes. Let's see what these roots look like. I love Monstera adansonii. It's also called the Swiss cheese plant, or at least I've heard it called that. I just think it's so cute. I think all monsters are cute, really. And I have some other plants. I'll be doing a plant tour whenever I get more. I feel like I don't have enough to do a tour yet, really. This thing is stuck. Uh-oh, I should have got some scissors. It on there good. Didn't want to fall down. I might have to tie it to the moss pole too. Ha! <laughs> thing is big. Look! Whoa! Look how pretty. You can, like stick your cold finger through there. <laughs> oh, there goes my stick. It's just in this nursery pot. I had it in this, but I think I just want to do terracotta because I like it. And terracotta is great because it wicks out any extra moisture. So if you're kind of bad about overwatering, then terracotta is great. Which I wouldn't say I necessarily overwater, but some plants are trickier than others and they like to stay dry. My fiddle leaf fig was struggling and I repotted it in terracotta. And I think it had become too root bound. And after I put it in terracotta, it was all better. So see it looks like it's got a pretty good bit of roots they look healthy they're not too too dry but I think this is root bound enough to repot get some soil around those roots and allow it to kind of hold in some moisture um, some plants like being root bound but when mine get too root bound I have problems with them so I think it's okay to repot if your plant is showing signs of, you know, just not being happy and you don't see any pests and you know you're giving it enough light and you're not really overwatering. Look at all this dirt. I'm trying to get some of this dirt off of here. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to loosen it up just a little, but I don't want to shock it too bad. It is the middle of summer. You're technically not supposed to repot, I guess. Unless it's like spring, but summer's okay. I definitely wouldn't want to do this in winter. That would probably upset the plant pretty bad. There's a lot of perlite in here. That's good. It's good to have soil with some drainage. Um, you could add perlite to any soil and make it a little more drainage for you. 
I'll show you the sword that I have. So it's just, this one's kind of dense. I kind of wish I had one that drained more, but I think it'll work fine. It's got fertilizer in it. It's called Digger's Delight, which it says it's, I guess it's like a Southern brand. I don't know if you order this online or not. I got it at a plant nursery. But I'll show you what the soil actually looks like. I did see some perlite in it, so I think it's going to be good. It says organic. That's always good. See? You can see some perlite in there. It's got some little bark pieces. It's really soft until it's, you know, good dirt, but it's a little dense, so I'll have to be careful not to go crazy with the water. Let's see. I'm gonna get this thing to stand up. This is new territory for me, but hey, I thought it might be fun to watch. Anyway, I'm gonna need more dirt. You want your plant to be up enough where it's not just falling down the pot. And you want to leave like an inch or so where you don't put the dirt so you have a little room to water. You don't have dirt like falling out of your pot. <laughs> Let's see. That looks pretty good. See, I've got it where once I put the dirt, there's going to be like an inch left. And that should work fine. I'm not sure. If, I guess I should put the dirt in first and then push the hole down in there. We're going to try that. One of my hairs got my soul. <laughs> Maybe that'll give it some nutrients. I don't know. Let's see. Got this plant pretty recently. Maybe about a month ago now. But it seems pretty happy at my house. I run the humidifier for it. And it's a few feet from a big window. It's not just direct sun. But... I think it's getting enough indirect light. It has a little bit of crisping, but it had that when I got it. Hope I can make it even healthier. And the point of the moss pole, well, one thing, it's just, I mean, I think it's pretty, but it places pressure on the roots. At least that's what I've heard other people say but watching YouTube videos and all that which that makes sense in nature they grow up trees and anything they can find and it helps the plant mature and get bigger leaves so that sounds awesome to me there's a dead piece right here I'm just going to take that off I know you're supposed to prune it but sometimes I just rip stuff off I haven't killed anything so I think it's fine. Yeah, and it, this plant has a little bit of mealies right now. I've got to treat it. Treat it the other day. Probably had that when I got it. I'm not sure. Mealies are just part of life when you have plants. If you don't know how to treat for mealy bugs... You just need to, well, you want to wipe them all out, wash them all. It's good, even with just water. But um, you can get some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and wipe them off. And neem oil is good. I'm going to get some of that soon so I can have that on hand. But you want to stay on top of it and always look at your plants often. That way, see, this is just a tiny bit. So it's not going to be hard to get rid of, so I'm not really that worried about it. But if you wait until they're bad, 
he can be kind of a nightmare. So you just want to do the best you can to notice those signs. They like to hide in these little creases. I'll actually show you. I saw a bunch of them where they go. That's how hard they are to find. Like even once you find them, you have to re-find it. So this is what mealy bugs looks like. And if your plant gets this, like don't panic. It it is bothersome, but you can treat it. So I want you to get up in there. Never notice it. So that's just something to keep in mind. You know, look at your plants closely as often as you can. I know we're all busy, but gonna save you some headache if you treat it early because I'll just wipe it off once I get it on here and we'll be fine see these leaves are bigger than these other ones so looks like this thing's gonna grow some good leaves I'm trying to decide if I want to not let that just trail this thing has branched off several times I think I want this piece to go up I see I did cut this this used to be a lot taller but I cut it because I wanted to propagate one for my mom so I think I might wrap this around here like this yeah. I think that would look good it's hard to see it from there but I think that would work let's give it a shot I just have small pieces of twine I'm going to use you can probably get this on Amazon. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's so useful. I use it for all kinds of stuff. Okay. Let's see here. Maybe once it's tied up, I can treat it for mealybugs easier. <laughs> Just kind of held up for me. I'm going to pack some more dirt around this moss pool because it still feels kind of loose. Just don't want it to fall over. I guess I should have a bigger pot, but this plant's just not that big yet. You don't want to pot your plant in a pot that's way too big for it. You only want to go like, you know, the next pot size up. If you're in an 8 inch pot, you just want to go to 10 inch. Because if you have it in too big of a pot, it tries to grow more roots and you won't see the foliage growth that you want. And it also can lead to overwatering, not necessarily because you overwater, but because there's more water in that extra soil, and it doesn't have anywhere to go if the plant can't drink at all. So that's something to keep in mind when you're repotting. And the best time to repot is in. Oh look, it's got a little aerial root. Can you see? Oh my goodness, y'all! I just saw a squirrel or something. It's scared me. I guess it should face the pole, but it's okay. But yeah, you want to repot. Early spring's the best time. We still have a few months of summer left, so I'm not concerned about, you know, repotting now. I think it's fine. Sometimes you just need to repot. Like, if I had to repot several plants, because they were just too root-bound, I didn't notice until recently, so. You gotta do what you gotta do. perfect but it looks cool <laughs> I think it'll like it it's gonna need a bigger one but this is a good beginner moss pool I think they make huge ones I probably shouldn't be half wearing the scrunchie because you can't see And this moss pole just keeps wiggling. How do y'all do? How do y'all keep your moss pole from moving? Do you have any tips for me? I think honestly, it should be a little smaller than moss pole. But you know, sometimes you don't have everything perfect. Just can't help it. I think that looks like a happy little plant. It's got the moss pole sort of towards the back it on there 
and I was I'll miss the moss pole with a spray bottle and that should help it I'll get this mealy bug thing handled look how many vines this thing has my goodness got a little extra dirt up here but it'll settle once I water it yeah I <laughs> couldn't see that That looks pretty cool. See? It is kind of wobbly, but you know, it's okay. I kind of like these moss poles. It came in a pack of two and they're bendable. So you can, you can bend it. Like I can bend it crazy looking if I want it. Don't think I want to though. Got enough going on already, it might fall over. <laughs> We need to water this. So I'm gonna go do that. Right, do y'all ever have your gloves out and you're like, I'm gonna use my cute little gardening gloves and like, you don't put them on. I just never, do. like I like them, they're adorable, but I just get in the dirt and don't even think about it. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I watered it really well. And I just kind of ran water over the moss pole. I think I still missed it with the spray bottle. I'm going to treat for mealy bugs. I'll show you how I would do that. Okay. I've just got some 70% rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to use a Q-tip and put it on there. Oh, my, my baby was coming. You want to come with me? Job. <laughs> I got a paper towel to kind of dot these leaves off because I got it really wet. <laughs> you say hey? Be careful. Don't touch it, honey. Link. Look. Look, sweetie. Say hi. Okay. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. No, no. determined he's going to be my cameraman. Let's dry these off a little bit. Are you my cameraman? Hey. Hey. No moving the camera. Stay. Stay right there. No, no. No, no. I'm letting you help, okay? You gotta be nice. No, no, honey. No, no. No touching it. No. Link. No. Look. Play with this stick. Y'all being a mama's. Always an adventure. Look. Get this stick. This is your stick. Hold it. Okay. When in doubt, give, give your son a stick. He'll be happy. <laughs> Did you get some rocks? Is that a rock? Yeah. You say rock. Throw it. There you go. You gotta go get ready for school, little boy. No. Yeah. He's like, no, I don't want to do that. I gotta get ready for work. So we get to hang out with our plant friends first, so that's fun. Did you drop your rock? Here you go. Here you go. This is real life, y'all. We're just keeping it real. It's like my life motto. Okay, let's find these mealy bugs and kill them. What is that? Alcohol is not supposed to hurt the plant. I'll let y'all know if anything freaky happens. But this is a common treatment. What are you doing? Putting rocks in my hair? No touching it. No touching it. Nope. 
He's like, I'm going to get you. No, no, touching that. He's got a stick. Your stick is dangerously close to the camera. Stop it, Nanky. No, boy. Just kind of creep treating some of these spots. It's mostly down below, but I'm still looking for a little bit here. I washed a good bit of them off. No! Leave that alone. No. No. This is not for you. No. You have to go inside with Daddy if you're going to do this. Do you want to see yourself? Uh. <laughs> okay. Stop touching. Stop touching. Go play with something. Go find a bug. Go find a bug. These obsessive bugs. Ew, they're all up in here. Get out. Get out of my plant. Die. Evil bugs die. I hate bugs. Especially when they're on my plants. <sighs> Thankfully, I've not had anything but mainly bugs. I hope I do not get anything worse. Quick. Quick, boy. He wants to see himself so bad. Look, there's your beautiful face. See? There you are. Gorgeous. Okay, now leave it alone. Leave it alone, boy. He's like, I'm a professional cameraman, Mom. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you. Quit. You're sabotaging me. You know it? Sabotage. See, I'm just getting all up in these little creases. That's my Q-tip. Give it to me. No. He's just taking everything. Hey, look. You want the shovel? Put the shovel. Okay. Gave him the trowel, and he's like, yeah. I think that's all of them. Looking all up in here to make sure. And you have to do this several times. This is not just a one and done. I wish, wish it was, but it's not. So, just keep an eye on your plant and look under the leaves, which I don't see any under the leaves here. That's kind of a good thing. It's not too widespread. No, no, we don't need no more dirt, okay? Thank you. So thoughtful. I don't think I see any up top. I can still do a little swab anyway, but I mean, this is kind of diluted by the water. That I put on it anyway, so oh, here's some. Look at there. Now I'm telling you, they just lurk. They will be lurking. And if I had my neem oil in, I would make a solution of um, neem oil and soap and water. So I'll make a video on that once I make my own plant stuff and bonide is supposed to be a good thing bonide has like a insect insecticidal soap and some granules for like when you have really bad bug issues like thrips or like the worst ever from what i hear i can leave a link to those that um this other girl i like to watch on youtube her channel is called wild fern and she recommended those. And she's really cool. Y'all should check her out. I really like her channel. Be careful, little man. Oh, my goodness. Bring, go go over there. Go put, look. What's the, go look at the basil. Go find some bugs over there. <laughs> I have a basil plant. And there was really pollies over there the other day. Are you going to, are you going to plant something? You want to put that up? Oh, no. Don't put that on there. Go set it over there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Can you play with your stick? Go play with your stick. He's big stuff now. He's got a stick. Sorry, this is so off topic. But isn't he fun? He's my little angel. So, I think I've got all the melee bugs off of here. No. I think I see a little bit. So, hopefully I haven't traumatized this plant too much. 
by repotting it Bug. and treating it for maybe bugs. Bug! Go get it! Go get it! But it looks like it'll climb up this moss pole pretty happily. Looks pretty content. I think it'll kind of wrap around. That's kind of what I'm going for. Um, I think it looks pretty good. We'll see. But I hope to make more videos soon. And if I come up with something interesting to share, I'll share it. Sorry I'm looking so crazy. It's like first thing in the morning and I haven't gotten ready yet. But who cares? <laughs> My plants don't care if I'm dressed up or not, right? Can you say bye-bye? Bye. Can we say bye together? Bye-bye.